it's a Cardano event uh, being held in, in Las Vegas. Uh, so I actually had two arcade cabinets made uh, that had like, you know, the, the Hydro Doom branding, you know, you can see some of this on, on my shirt um, and you could play Doom running on Hydra uh, in person, sort of literally on these computers as well as a, an online solution. So uh, hundreds of people around the world were playing this thing at the same time. And we had this little transaction counter, right? Like the, that showed the, the TPS at any given time across all of the different Hydra heads. I, I can't remember exactly how many it was, but you know, over a three day period, we, we processed more transactions in the Hydra Doom showcase than we did in the entire Cardano mainnet history, right? So it shows kind of just how much you can scale with this thing. We only reached around, you know, around 7,000 TPS or, or thereabouts because, you know, we weren't really planning to push it that far. We were hoping people were going to enjoy it and, you know, they could see and, and kind of feel this whole thing. But, you know, the question was, how can we push this a lot further? Do, you know, really kick it up a notch and do a tournament uh, with real money on the line. So uh, Charles, he put a uh, hundred thousand USDM as the cash price pool or as, as the, as the price pool. Uh, and we had to do a lot of work to, to sort of, to, to make this thing compatible with that format, because we need to enable multiplayer. We need to create a custom map because, you know, the, the default to do maps aren't really compatible with deathmatch. So we launched the tournament. And I can't remember exactly what it was uh, organically, but you know, we blew past 10,000 transactions per second, you know, pretty easily with just like people playing. So we, we tried to turn up the knob a little bit and we ended up processing more than 1 million transactions per second. And in 24 hours, we processed 15 and a half billion transactions.